Hey there, craft beer lovers. Ever wondered how your favorite IPA is brewed? Well, buckle up, because today I'm taking you on the ultimate journey to brewing the perfect IPA. Let's dive right in. First off, what makes an IPA an IPA? It's all about the hops. Hops are the flowers of the hop plant, and they add bitterness, flavor, and aroma to your beer. There are so many different hops out there, from the citrusy Cascade to the piney Simcoe. Each hop variety brings something unique to the table. Now let's talk about hazy IPAs. These bad boys are all the rage right now. The haziness comes from the proteins and yeast that remain in the beer, giving it a cloudy appearance and a juicy, fruity flavor. To get that hazy look and taste, you'll need to add oats or wheat alongside your hops. Ever heard of wet hops? These are hops that are used fresh, right after they're harvested. They give the beer a fresh, green and vibrant flavor that you can't get from dried hops. Now, onto the ingredients. For a basic IPA, you'll need malt, hops, yeast and water. The malt provides the sugars that the yeast will ferment into alcohol. The hops? Well, we've already covered how important they are. Yeast is what transforms the sugars into alcohol, and water is, of course, the base of your beer. Simple, right? But the magic is in the details. When brewing in a brewery, the process starts with mashing. This is where the malt is mixed with hot water to convert the starches into fermentable sugars. Next is lautering, where the liquid wort is separated from the grain. Then comes boiling, where hops are added to the wort. This is where your beer begins to take on its characteristic bitterness and aroma. After boiling, the wort is cooled and transferred to a fermenter. This is where yeast is added and fermentation begins. The yeast eats the sugars in the wort, producing alcohol and CO2. This process can take anywhere from a few days to a few weeks, depending on the type of yeast and the fermentation temperature. Once fermentation is complete, the beer is conditioned. This is where it matures and develops its final flavors. It's then filtered and carbonated before being packaged into bottles, cans or kegs. And voila, you have your IPA. Crafting a pale ale follows a similar process, but with a lighter malt bill and a different hop profile. Pale ales are usually more balanced and less bitter than IPAs, making them a great choice for those new to craft beer. So there you have it, folks. From the different hops to the brewing process, you now know what goes into making your favorite IPA. Next time you crack open a cold one, you can appreciate all the hard work and love that went into brewing it. Cheers to that. If you enjoyed this ultimate guide to brewing IPA beer, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more craft beer content. Until next time, happy brewing.